everybody. Welcome back to JTM Alley 9681's LPs. I'm your host, JTM Alley 9681. And we are still currently playing Dragon Warrior 2, also known as Dragon Quest 2 for the Nintendo Entertainment System. This is part 9 of our adventure. Alright, we are still in the continent of Alfgard. In Tanteco Castle. We are going to go to the town of Zon or Zan or whatever. And then we'll be going to Wellgarth. dangerous out here on in the in the ocean depending on where you are when you get into battles like this one here this one's not particularly too dangerous but it can be if the medusa balls put your whole party to sleep for reinforcements. They may poison a player upon attack. They may put you in a... cause you to fall asleep upon attack. They can also breathe sweet, uh, sweet breath, which can put your whole party to sleep. And they can also do heroic attacks. Actually, I don't know why I really went this way. I sh shouldn't, shouldn't have really done that. Ah. 
now we'll go. Ah. There's the Magi Drakis. I don't know if these were. if we came across these guys before or not. I don't remember. But just in case if we haven't, Magi Drakis can cast defense. And it can also do melee attacks. Oh, 
I'll let Bran hold on to the keys. Okay, see, we can't get through those, through those barred doors without another key, so going into there isn't going to help us. But we got what we came for here? Smoke and Vampyrus. Vampyrus can do melee attacks. They may attack twice. I don't know if they always do. And they can call for reinforcements. Get the smoke out of the way. one of the places to get a frag a f fragment or well, not a fragment but a crest and it's right here the sun crest cast a spell over his entire castle that makes it look peaceful. You must see Rubus to not be deceived. Oh! Okay, I know where that is. That's actually a place we'll be heading, heading to sometime. I can't do anything there. Actually, we can! Oh! Okay, never mind. Yeah, that's, that's a useless place now. Okay, I know where this is. This is when we first went from, uh, the first part from, uh, Kanek and, uh, Leftwind to get to Landport. Not Landport, uh, whatever that town was called. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was a soul or what. Oh, 
All right. Oh, that one. There goes the lane port. This is the World Tree, and if you search here, you get a leaf of the World Tree, which will resurrect anybody fully. Wolfgarth! Where has everyone gone? Do you think it is my breath? Guys, but if you use the charm of Rubus, you will see through his deception. I'll tell you enter a lady's room. I don't know why there are five barriers right there. It doesn't make any sense. Isolated valley northwest of the town where once a road led to Rhone. Huh. Won't be able to do anything with that for a while. Greatest shall fall by a spell of his own devising. This is the jailer's key right here. Oh, I get a discount. up in here. Targon dwells on the high plateau of Rhone. 
Only those who have the Eye of Malroth can find the road. Ha <laughs> ha! Curses are bound! I am Rope Fastfinger, and here is the Watergate Key. We'll need that for something else later. Oh, there's a weapon in the armor shop right here. A lot of this stuff is so expensive. There's the iron helmets. Great for the hero. But we can't even buy it. Because we needed that jailer's key. Finest water or flying cloth. I recommend Don Mon or lives in tune. Whatever. Blah, 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 blah. We'll deal with that later. here and save and when we continue we will go to Sherlock Castle hope you all enjoyed this episode of Dragon Warrior also known as Dragon Quest for the Nintendo Entertainment System please, please stay tuned for part 10 as we continue our adventure follow me on social media on my main channel on YouTube JTML9681 and also on Facebook Twitter GamingOne.com and LinkedIn Links will be in the video description. JTML9681 signing off. I'll see you all next time.